Hi you all, I'm back with another video on the Vinci Smart Headphones and in this video I would like to talk about some issues with the unit. Uh, there are three things that I want to talk about and that would be the Bluetooth, the battery and the voice assistant. Okay, so first, let's start off with the Bluetooth um, connection. So as you know, if you have watched my previous videos, uh, the headphones get connected to all my different devices with no problem. So uh, my issue with the connection though is that whenever I get connected to a device, I can hear there's a little bit of a background noise. Um, and I find that um, depends on the type of devices, or, or rather depends on the devices that I connected it with, uh, the level of noise is different, the loudness, in terms of loudness. So uh, for example, with my uh, smartphone, the, the level of noise, the background noise is higher. With my tablet, the level of noise is softer. It is also softer with my TV. So, um, but uh, when the music comes on, you don't hear that background noise anymore, obviously. So, it's not much of a problem, but I can tell you that the Bluetooth connection is not totally clean because there is some background noise to it. Now, the other thing about the Bluetooth is the interface, the, the software. So let's say I'm connected to Bluetooth now uh, and I play my music um, and I want to go back to the main menu. I can't actually do that because it will take me back to, to this um, Bluetooth setting. So I can't actually go back to the main menu. So I can't actually change my uh, visual so if i want to change my visual i can't do that so the only way to get back to the main menu is to actually disconnect or rather turning off the bluetooth okay and then you go back you can go back to the main menu so uh, that's just something that i found out uh, again not much of a problem um, to me uh, i'm not that fussy so but i would just like you to know uh, what's going on with the bluetooth okay so um so i'm thinking my my uh, contacts so cannot sync some sometimes it does that so i have to uh, agree to it through my uh, phone so uh, that's one thing but again nothing much to it so the next thing i want to talk about is um the battery yes so and it has a little bit of a link to the Bluetooth as well because what I've noticed is that whenever I use Bluetooth with my Vinci Smart Headphones for music or for YouTube or for whatever, um, the battery tends to drain really fast. So um, that's kind of weird because I, I thought uh, Bluetooth would be more uh, power saving compared to 3G or, or Wi-Fi connection. Um, so, uh, and I use uh, Bluetooth connection a lot actually, uh, not so much of the Wi-Fi. And um, so that's one thing that I want to tell you. Um, the battery doesn't last that long, unfortunately. And um, if you remember in my first video, I, I told you I was already very skeptical about the, the claims that they have about the, the standby time and the, the battery duration when you use it with Bluetooth or you use it with Wi-Fi. So I never believed that anyway. Um, 
Now, um, I, I suspect that maybe if I keep the screen on most of the time during my usage with the Bluetooth, that could be one reason why the battery drains so fast. Yeah, because if if you look at the screen, it's actually pretty bright. So, and I've set it to the absolute minimum. Okay, so, and if I slide this over, so you can see the screen is actually very, very bright, uh, even at half setting and even at minimum setting okay so um, perhaps um, if you switch off the screen while you're enjoying your music with the smart headphones you will get more battery out of it okay of course you will lose that cool factor because when you're out and about um, People actually do look at you if they see something going on with your headphone, you know, that, that visual thing that is going on, on, on going on the screen, displaying on the screen. So uh, I brought it out last weekend um, to the mall, walking about with the, the, the headphone, with the screen on. Uh, people actually give me a second look, but nobody actually approached me and asked me about it because... Um, you know, Asians, yeah, so we, we don't do that, <laughs> okay. Um, so um, perhaps, like I said, uh, if you switch off the, the screen while you enjoy your music, you may actually get more battery out of it. I mean, uh, more than with the screen on, okay. Um, I also noticed that the standby time is also not very long like what the, the box described so um, that's the thing with the, the battery um, am I really bothered by it um, I can't say that that I'm really bothered by it because um, I have used uh, Bluetooth headphones that are much worse okay Okay, so now I want to talk about the voice assistant and um, I can tell you straight up uh, it's not very uh, good because um, maybe it's my accent. I'm not uh, a Westerner, I'm Asian, obviously, so I, I don't speak English like um, a Westerner does. So um, it doesn't quite recognize what I say sometimes. Uh, I actually don't use a lot of the voice assistant. Uh, and, and, and I bought this thing not because of the voice assistant. I find it weird to be talking to my headphones in public. So uh, that, that, that's not, that, that is not the reason why I bought this thing. So I'm never really hyped up about the voice assistant in the first place. But I can tell you the voice assistant needs a lot of work. Uh, not because of my accent, but because of the way it works. You know, um, when I'm listening to music, I'm, I'm wearing it, obviously, using Wi-Fi connection. So that's when you, you, you can use the voice assistant. Um, I noticed that when I want to skip tracks, so whenever I tell it to skip track or, or go play the next song, it will recognize my voice. Um, it will say, play the next song, for example. But then there is no song. There's no song to be played. It doesn't really play the next song. So it just confirmed to me that it will play the next song, but there's no song coming out. The next song is not coming out of my ear, of my uh, headphones. And before that update, that 1.1.0 update, I could still press on this um, button here. Can I call? Can I call this a button? Never mind. Um, this key here, and uh, I can go back to the main menu. Uh, uh, sorry, I can go back to this uh, music mode here. And, and then I press, 
uh, and then I touch on the, the screen and then the next track will play. But after the update, I can never go back to the main uh, music mode screen. Okay, so um, I, I think in, in my opinion, they still need a lot of work with the voice assistant. Um, so that's just one thing that I want to say about it. Like I said, I don't use it a lot and I tend to use the, the skip track function by swiping the screen. Okay, so that is much more responsive. Um, so what can I say? Uh, do I still like it? I guess I still like the headphones in a sense because the the, the sound quality is still good. Uh, um, it is very flexible. I can use 3G, I can use Wi-Fi, I can use Bluetooth and if if not if uh, if I have no connection whatsoever, I can still use the built-in player to play the imported list of music that I have. Okay, and um, what are the issues? Hmm, there are some, but I can't remember offhand now. I just wanted to talk about the main main issue.